Dear parents, teachers and fellow students, we welcome you to witness the great event of investiture ceremony of our school for this academic year 2021-22, along with our Honorable Manager of the school, Reverend Father Christopher Michael, our Resolute Principal, Reverend Father Sidloy Furtado, and other members of the school fraternity. Investiture means a formal investing of a person with authority, power, right, office, and dignity. So, dear children, we are investing in you. You are the expectation of future initiative and furthermore, to encourage the duty to deal with power. The school parliament along with these lines shaped will ingrain the capacities of dynamic administration and subsequently molding them into a better residence of the country. This investiture ceremony is different and exciting. Different because it is virtual and exciting as we adapt to a newer ways of learning. The school parliament and the cabinet were selected after a rigorous and a democratic process. So, let me take you to the journey of selection. The school parliament for the session 2021-22, under the able guidance of our principal, Father Sidloy Furtado, the process of electing school parliament of ongoing session was started in the month of May. All the willing students were given the chance to file nominations for contesting the elections for different ministries and designations. Students were given time for campaigning and online elections. They were held on the 29th May. The candidates were selected on the basis of majority of votes through online voting. Virtual interviews were conducted for the selection of the core cabinet. Well, the last year has taught us a valuable lesson for the importance of good health. Keeping this in view, the Ministry of Health was created this year. It was added to the Parliament for the session 2021-22. Before welcoming the newly selected school Parliament, let us bid adieu to the outgoing Parliament. Thank you. Light symbolizes energy, prosperity, abundance and knowledge. It is a source of brightness and positivity. So, for an auspicious and a blessed morning, I would like to invite our principal to light the lamp. Thank you, sir, for gracing this occasion with your presence. I would now request Soumya Mishra to take over further proceedings of the ceremony. I would now like to invite a group of melodious singer for a welcome song.
wishing luck us all the time Gave us love, made us smile Till the end of the life Standing firm, being bright We stood up to touch the sky Teaching all to love with heart Helping us open up We thank the entire team for such a mellifluous welcome song. Now, it is the time to start the oath ceremony for the newly elected school parliament for the session 2021-22. An oath is an important ceremonial gesture signifying the official start to one's term in office. An oath ceremony is a means for the representative to make a public commitment to the duties responsibilities and obligations associated with it. For such an upholding, I would like to invite Reverend Father Sid Loy Fatado to lead the entire parliament for the oath taking. Greetings to everyone present here. We all have gathered here to witness the investiture ceremony of the upcoming school parliament for the session 2021-22. I would like to invite Reverend Father Principal, Father Sidloy Furtado, to kindly administer the oath to our newly elected school parliament. I, 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 a student of St. Javis School, Batinda. A student of St. Javis School, Batinda. Understand. 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 That I have been called. That I have been called to be a member of the school parliament. The school parliament. I'm aware. I am aware, I'm aware that this responsibility that this responsibility calls me calls me to become different. To become different. Rise above the ordinary. Rise above, above the ordinary. Have the courage and have the, the courage, courage to stand by my own convictions. To stand by, by my own convictions. convictions. I know that. I know, I know that. that. Moto. I'm a moto. Moto. Love your neighbor as yourself. Love, Love your neighbor, your neighbor as yourself. yourself. Calls me. Calls me. Calls me. To higher and braver objectives. To higher and braver objectives. I pledge. I pledge. pledge the presence of God. In the presence, the presence of, of God. God in this assembly. And this, this assembly, assembly. That I shall sincerely abide. That I shall, I shall sincerely, sincerely abide. abide. By the rules and regulations. By the rules and regulations. Entrusted to me, and entrusted to me. to me, to the best of my ability, to the best, to the best of my ability. ability, and that I shall carry out, and that, and that I shall, shall carry out, out the same, the same, same for the honor, for the honor, of, honor, of, honor of my school parliament, of my, my school, school, school parliament, parliament, and my school, and, and my school. My school. To help me, God. To help, help me, God. 
Thank you, Father, for the honors. Greetings to everyone. After the oath ceremony of the school parliament, it's my pleasure to invite Reverend Father Sidloy Furtado, our principal, to kindly administer the oath to the newly elected House Cabinet. I, I, the member of the House Cabinet, the member of the House Cabinet of Saint Javier School, Batinda, resolve, resolve, to serve my fellow students. To, to serve, serve my fellow students, students and school sincerely. And, and school sincerely. I will endeavor. I will, I will endeavor to be a perfect role model of discipline. To be a perfect role model of discipline. And earnestness. And honestness. I will actively take part. I will, I will actually take part, part in all the school activities in, in all the school activities, activities and endeavor and endeavor to bring laurels to bring laurels and glory to the school and, and glory to the school as member of the house cabinet as member of the house cabinet, I will uphold. I will uphold loyalty to the tradition, loyalty to the tradition, and ethics of the school, and ethics of the school. I will do my best. I will do my best to maintain discipline. To maintain discipline among the students, among the students, and carry out and carry out all the duties, all the duties with complete devotion, with complete devotion and sincerity, and sincerity to help me, God. So thank you, Father, for leading the ceremony. Congratulations to all the school parliamentarians. May I now request the parents to do the honours? Now, I would like to introduce you all to the newly elected Prime Minister of the school, Ramnik Sandhu, a multi-talented person, a budding social worker, with a forthright and a candid personality. Congratulations, Ramnik! Up next, we have a very kind-hearted, innovative and an avid explorer, Mannat Singla, the newly elected Deputy Prime Minister of the school. Congratulations, Mannat! The newly elected Speaker of the Parliament is hardworking, dedicated and approachable. She is Pawan Swaroopor Sandhi. Congratulations, Pawan! The Deputy Speaker of the Parliament is artistic, sincere and extremely hardworking Radhika. Many congratulations, Radhika! For the newly elected General Secretaries of the school, we have Ishani Kalra. Ishani has a very sincere, inventive and a creative personality. Many congratulations, Ishani. For the newly elected General Secretary, Hasrat Dillon. Uh, Hasrat, on the other hand, is a sports enthusiast and a brilliant player of handball and NCC certificate holder. May I request uh, Lieutenant Colonel J.S. Dillon, grandfather of Hasrat, to kindly do the honours. Many congratulations, Hasrat. Uh, Hansika, the newly elected Cultural Affairs Minister, embodies the spirit and soul of her fictional idol, Harvey Specter, and brings to the table a sense of confidence that is unparalleled. Congratulations, Hansika. Anushka, the Deputy Cultural Affairs Minister, harbors the ability to manage any situation and solve problems with a blink of an eye. Anushka, many congratulations. Not only uh, is he a problem solver, but a born achiever. 
Ishmeet Singh, the Education Minister for the session 2020-21, never gives up and this forms the core of his winning mentality. Congratulations, Ishmeet. Whether it's a crunch situation on the football pitch or a pressure situation in an academic setting, the newly elected Deputy Education Minister, Angel manages to find a way out. Congratulations, Angel. As a commander-in-chief of all his endeavours, Arman Jindal, our Environment Minister, serves as an exceptional example of being patient and a compassionate leader. Congratulations, Arman. Optimistic, magnanimous, Amanat Sidhu, the Deputy Environment Minister, is inarguably the epitome of virtuous leadership with unrivaled managerial skills. Congratulations. It is with immense pleasure that we present to you the Minister of External Affairs, Navneet Barar, whose pragmatic persona and the eye for detail allow him to be extraordinary. Congratulations, Navneet. Arman Garg, our Deputy External Affairs Minister, is prompted by curiosity as he explores things from a distinct perspective and is always open to learning new things. Congratulations, Arman. The newly elected Finance Minister, Sanchit, uh, it's his ability to maintain composure, help him solve all problems effortlessly, making him the go-to person in times of crisis. Congratulations, Sanjit. Just like the pleasant breeze, the Deputy Prime Minister of Finance, Saksham's charming and lively persona diffuses into the space around him. Many congratulations, Saksham. A seasoned blend of diligence and proficiency, Tarun Jodhkor, the health minister who transforms her ideas into reality and creates a vision of incredible beauty. Congratulations, Tarun Jodh. An exemplary illustration of trustworthy, strong-willed and a robust leader, it is with great pleasure that we present to you the Deputy Minister of Health, Noor. Owing to her conviction to create a more comfortable and an inclusive work atmosphere, the Minister of Home Affairs, Noor Kamal Kaur, will truly act as a unifying force of the Student Council. Congratulations, Noor Kamal! Dancing to the rhythm of life, Tanvir Barar, the Deputy Minister of Home Affairs, is a perfect amalgamation of firmness and empathy. Congratulations, Tanvir! With nature so amiable and cordial, Harshita Gupta, the Minister of Information and Technology, is ever ready to help anyone requiring guidance. Many congratulations, Harshita. Up next, we have an extremely tech-savvy and a creative personality, Hasrat Sidhu, the Deputy IT Minister. Congratulations, Hasrat. A personality who carries sincerity in her job and rigor in her efforts is the Minister of Student Interest Group, Sachi. Sachi Rumana, many congratulations. Following the lead is the Deputy SIG Minister, Harsimrit Kaur. She is hardworking, friendly and extremely helpful. Congratulations, Harsimrit. The Minister of Social Welfare, Pragya, is carefree and vivacious like a bird who is also a perfectionist in her work and delivers best results. Many congratulations, Pragya. Up next, we have Gurnaz Kaur, the Deputy Minister of Social Welfare. Gurnaz is extremely disciplined and optimistic. Many congratulations, Gurnaz. Inspired by the court, every champion was once contenter who refused to give up. We have a person with an exuberant personality and an outgoing and a playful nature. May I introduce the Minister of Sports, Disha Jindal. Many congratulations, Disha. To follow up, we have Dhairya Garg serving as the Deputy Sports Minister. He promises that he will encourage all students to participate in all school activities. Congratulations, Dhairya! A leader is the one who knows the way, shows the way and goes the way. So with this quote, let's move on to the House Cabinet for the session 2021-22. From witty one-liners to elaborate puns, Zafro Singh Dandiwal, humor never ceases to amaze those around him. The head boy creates an ingenious vision and motivates everyone with his stellar work ethic. Many congratulations to you. 
head girl anahad she is hard working compassionate optimistic and promises to create a strong connection between students teachers and school staff working for the overall development of school in every field many congratulations to anahad beginning with the emerald house we have an extremely hard working and a friendly person mannat virk as the house captain congratulations mannat following mannat is the vice captain of emerald house ridhima garg ridhima is sincere dedicated and extremely approachable next up we have the ruby house captain aditya who is a huge sports enthusiast he is interested in cycling and playing football and cricket congratulations aditya to follow up we have the ruby house vice captain naman garg an extremely ambitious and a sincere personality naman is totally dedicated towards his duties congratulations naman Coming up next, we have the house captain for Sapphire House, Bhumi. Bhumi being extremely hard working, is totally committed and capable of making decisions. Many congratulations, Bhumi. Now, we have the vice captain of Sapphire House, Arnav Jindal. Arnav is friendly, polite and highly sincere. His dedication knows no boundaries. Congratulations, Arnav. last but not the least we have the house captain of topaz house gurleen kaur who is also a handball player at the district level congratulations gurleen following the lead we have sanchit gupta as the topaz house vice captain sanchit is extremely determined and sincere and quite easy approachable congratulations sanchit congratulations to all the office bearers now i would request somya mishra to take over the further proceedings of the ceremony thank you now i would like to invite the prime minister of our school parliament ramik sandhu to address the gathering it has been rightly quoted by the acclaimed speaker and the former prime minister of the united kingdom mr winston churchill that success is not final failure is not fatal It is the courage to continue that counts. Indeed, life is like a set of fortuitous twists and serendipitous incidents which are meant to bring the best out of us. The meaning of our lives is to pursue human flourishing through the course of various human pursuits and ventures that happen in one's lifetime. Today, I am Neek Sandhu, the Prime Minister of the school for the session 2021 to 22 is here to express one such event of my life a very good morning to reverend father manager christopher michael and reverend father principal sidloy fortado along with honorable teachers and my dear fellow mates school plays a very significant role in the process of socializing and consorting it is the place where pupils meet their peers make friends and establish many relationships my school taught me the basics to live socially in a community and allowed me to set an example of indispensable leadership my teachers were not merely my faculties but also my facilitators in all respects the management the staff my teachers and every unit of the school were great constructors of my character I am really very proud to be a part of this prime institute and I am phlegmatic and confident that we the students of St Xavier School Bathinda will prove as the most innovative progressive and socially well behaved citizens I will diligently take part in all school activities and by strenuous efforts bring laurels and glory to my alma mater I will try my best to maintain discipline among students and carry out all my duties with complete devotion and sincerity. I promise to uphold my allegiance to the tradition and ethics of the school and will try to establish a fond affinity amongst everyone. I acknowledge that leadership is not a path to privilege. It is but a responsibility. It is not an assertion of control over others. by the sincere desire to serve 
I will deliver what I promised without compromise. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ramnik, for your inspiring speech. Now, I would like to invite Reverend Father Sid Loy Fatado to deliver his address to new parliament. Good morning. This investiture ceremony, like everything else we have done in the last one and a half years, has challenged us to step out of our comfort zone, embrace our uncertainties, our fears and anxieties, and transform them into a positive, effective, and highly productive online schooling. We have found new ways to steer through this alien terrain. We will all agree, management, teachers, parents, and students alike, that these are very difficult times. I'm amazed at how hard we have all worked collectively to ensure that learning continues for our students. We have emerged out of this gloom shining bright. It required of us hours and hours of committed work, discipline and a passionate belief that all will be well and that sun will rise again. True leaders walk with the divine and know that all things are possible. This, my dear student leaders, is the hallmark of leadership, to tread the road less traveled, to dare to reach out for the stars, to aspire to move to the next level even when the night seems endless. You are a chosen few, all set to don the badge of leadership. We have earned this moment. This mantle of leadership is handed over to you because over the years we have displayed sterling characteristics and made your mark. You richly deserve this moment. Now that you are officially inducted as a leader, find new and innovative ways to work with your fellow students, to hold aloft the flag of St. Xavier's. We are proud of you and know that you will take our school to greater heights. On behalf of the management, staff and students, I congratulate you. I'd like to take this opportunity to also congratulate and thank the parents of our student leaders. You are their first teachers and your home, their first school. I can't forget our band of committed teachers who have worked tirelessly to make this event a success. God bless you all. Do well. Thank you. We thank you, Father, for your precious words and being the catalyst who always inspired us to do our best and standing as a pillar of strength for all of us. You have always set up high expectation for our students and educators so that we can always learn and succeed. You have always encouraged us to be a better human being. Now, I would like to invite Ma'am Kokil for the vote of thanks. Greetings to all. It's indeed my proud privilege to extend my gratitude and heartfelt thanks to school manager, Reverend Father Christopher Michael and our principal, Reverend Father Sidloy Futado, the staff members, dear parents, students, as well as outgoing parliament members. This has been an astounding investiture ceremony of the parliament of our esteemed institution, St. Xavier's. It is a matter of great pride for all of us that we were able to organize the ceremony during the ongoing pandemic with such zeal and enthusiasm. I congratulate the elected members of the school parliament and their proud parents for their achievements. We are sanguine 
that the elected members would do justice to their assigned roles and live up to the faith reposed in them by the institution. This is not just a routine assignment, but a part of your grooming as future leaders and torch bearers of our society. So do your best and we wish you the best of everything. Thank you and God bless. Thank you Ma'am Kokil for your kind words. I hope that it would be an erudite journey for all the parliament members who are now committed to the welfare of the students and the growth of the school. As rightly said by Mahatma Gandhi, to give real service, you must add something which cannot be bought or measured with money and that is sincerity and integrity. With this note, we end this ceremony and once again, we thank you all for your patience, participation and encouragement shown to our students. Thank you.